this video is for the older kiddos, ages four to six, and it's for August 24th to August 28th. Okay, let's hit crisscross applesauce. Let's do our trace breath that we've been practicing. So hold up five, hold up your hand. You're gonna trace your hand. So let's do that first before we add the breath. So can you trace around your hand like you're drawing it on a piece of paper? It's like you're going up the mountain, down the mountain, up the mountain, down the mountain. Let's hold up our other hand. So we're gonna trace our thumb, take a big breath in, and then blow it out as you go down. Big breath in, and out, and in, and out, and in, and out, and in, and out. Good, let's rub our hands together. Can you squish your hands and squish your face? Squish your hands and squish your face. Squish, 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 and relax. Squish your hands and squish your face. Squish your hands and squish your face. Squeeze, 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 and relax. Let's sing our song. Rub your hands. Sit up tall. Take a big breath. We're going to do some animal cards today. So I'm gonna hold up a picture of a card and we're gonna see who can do it the quickest and the quietest. So what animal is that? What's that look like? I'll give you a hint. He lives on a lily pad and he goes ribbit, ribbit. Who makes that sound? A frog. Let's do our froggy pose, froggy pose. Come down into a little squat. Ribbit. Should we show, show Floyd our frog pose? Ribbit. And what do froggies eat, yogis? They eat flies. Can you catch a little fly with your tongue? Stick your tongue out. Can you catch a fly? No. Let me see how high you can hop. Ribbit. Let's hop at the same time. Three, two, one, ribbit. Very good. Should we do the puppy dog pose for Floyd? Can you say hi, Floyd? Hi, Floyd. Hi, Floyd. All right, let's do our puppy dog pose. Wag your tail up in the air like this. Woof, woof, woof. Wag your tail. Woof, woof, woof. Shake out one leg. Shake out the other leg. Let's do three puppy dog hops. Let's do them in Spanish. Uno. Dos. One more. Tres. Woo! Can you breathe like a puppy dog on a hot day? How does a puppy dog breathe on a hot day? Unlike today, today is very hot. You know why puppy dogs breathe like that? Because they don't sweat. They don't get sweaty and cool themselves off. So they have to open their mouths, stick out their tongue, and breathe like that to keep them cool. All right, who is this guy? I'll give you a hint. He goes, hum, or bzzz. He makes honey. He pollinates. It's a bee. All right, let's sit crisscross applesauce bumblebees. Make your bumblebee wings behind your head. Take a big bumblebee breath in. Hum. Let's land on a flower to get some pollen. Reach your flower petals up high and our flower petals are dancing in the breeze. Can you make your flower petals sway side to side? My flower petals are pink and 
purple. What color are your flower petals? Mm. Such a diverse garden, all different colors. I love it. All right, let's see what animal is next. Oh, we don't do this one very often. This is a big kid pose. What does that look like? I'll give you a hint. They have humps, sometimes one hump, sometimes two humps on their back. They live in the desert. What is it? It's a camel. All right, so we're gonna keep our knees to the ground. All right, everybody know where their knees are? Keep your knees to the ground. Let's make two humps. Make fists with our hands and then put your fists on your back and reach your heart up towards the sky. Oh, that's a big stretch. Do you feel that stretch, yogis? I feel that stretch. Reach your heart up to the sky. Make your humps. Anybody know what sound a camel makes? Me neither. I don't know if they make sound. I think that they, I think that they spit, but we're not gonna do that today. Okay. <clears throat> Do this one next. What is that animal? It's a bald eagle. It's covered in feathers. Do we remember how to do eagle pose? It's a standing up pose. Let's stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Alright, one foot on the ground, wrap the other leg around, squeeze your legs together like you gotta go to the bathroom. And then big eagle wings. They have giant wingspans, yogis. Let me see your big eagle wings. And then let's make our eagle sound like this. Cuckoo! 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 Can I hear your eagle sound? Cuckoo! 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 Switch legs. Other leg wraps around, squeeze your legs together, hug your legs together, big eagle wings. Cool. 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 Get your spying eagle glasses out. Can I see your spying eagle binoculars? What do you see way down below? They can see all sorts of things up high in the sky. What do you see down below? <gasps> Alexa, stop. I see my toes. What did you see in your binoculars? Okay. Who is that? Kind of looks like an alligator or a crocodile. Where do crocodiles live? In the water, in the river. And what sound does a crocodile make? They have the long mouths like this, right? And they go chomp. Chomp, chomp. Can you do that? Chomp, chomp, chomp. And they also open their mouths when they're hot in the sun. Did you know that? Can you do that? They open their mouths when it's a really hot day and they're laying in the sun. So let's come down to our bellies like crocodiles. Come down to your belly. Belly button on the ground. Make your tail. So squeeze your legs together to make your tail. And then chomp, chomp, chomp. And it's hot. Open your mouth. Take some deep breaths. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Can we be an angry crocodile? Rawr. Can we be a happy crocodile? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Can you take a little crocodile now? Hmm. Hmm. Good crocodile poses. All right, this is another water pose, but this is an ocean pose, okay? Crocodiles live in rivers. This friend lives in the ocean. What do we see there? Who is that? What animal is that? They make this sound. They're very smart, very smart animals, and, and sharks are scared of them. Sharks aren't scared of anybody, but sharks are scared of dolphins. Dolphin pose. So let's locate our elbows, put a little glue on your elbows. Glue up one elbow, glue up the other elbow, and then we'll stick our elbows to the ground, which this is a tricky part. You gotta glue your elbows to the ground. Show me that they're glue. 
and then keep your elbows on the ground. Reach your bottom up towards the sky. Let me hear your best dolphin sound. It's like a clicking. Keep looking at your toes. One more big breath. Good, and then we'll come down. Oh, I think that one's hard. You guys think that one's hard? Okay, let's see. What's next? Ooh, this one we don't do very often. This will be a fun one. What is that pose? What's that look like? Scales, they have scales, they live underwater, they make this face. It's a fishy. Can you make your fishy face? It's a very important part of the pose. Let me see your fishy face. Okay, now, we, we still have the glue on our elbows or do we need a little bit more? Let's put a little bit more glue on our elbows for this one. Okay, this one's tricky, so put your listening ears on. Glue one elbow, two elbow to the ground. Both elbows to the ground, just your elbows on the ground, and then look back. Oh, it's a big stretch. Big stretch on your neck. Elbows to the ground, and then let your head drop back. Try not to let your head or your back on the ground, just your elbows, which is tricky, tricky, tricky. Do you think this pose looks like a fish? I don't know why it's called fish. Ooh, so good. All right, let's do our butterfly pose. We have a friend coming to visit, not quite a butterfly, it looks a lot like a butterfly. Can you put a little bit of glue on the bottoms of your feet and then flap your butterfly wings? And then make your butterfly antennas. So this friend, butterflies come out during the day. This friend comes out at night. Anybody remember what a nighttime animal is called? Nocturnal, such a great word. Can you say nocturnal? Nocturnal. So a nocturnal butterfly is a moth. Okay, they kind of look like butterflies. So we have a moth coming to visit, the Luna moth, and she's just so beautiful and magical and special, but she gets a little shy. So let's be really quiet, yogis. Let's stretch out like a pancake. Can you lay flat like a pancake? I'm gonna get her bell. I'm gonna play her bell and see if we can get her to come out. We need to be so quiet and still for the Luna Moth, okay? So close your eyes, rest your body, and once it's very quiet and peaceful and we hear the bell, she'll come, okay? Show me how quiet and peaceful you can make your body. Luna Moth's favorite place to visit. She loves listening to the bell. So let's be really still and quiet and hear her favorite bell. Yogis, the Luna Moth has flown away. Did you hear her bell? I love that bell sound. Do you like the bell sound? All right, let's put our hands together. Let's sit crisscross applesauce and let's sing the Namaste song with our hands together. My little light bows to your little light, your little light. Your little light, my little light, 
bows to your little light. Namaste. Can you clap your hands? Thank you for doing some yoga poses with me. I'll see you next time.